Hi, Sparkus here. We're back in the kitchen. I'm not making this into an I Live in Japan video. It's not a really a Japanese food video because what I'm going to show you today isn't really Japanese food. It's very popular in Japan right now. It's a dessert. I don't know where it comes from. I don't know if it's popular in North America right now at all. It very well might be, but it has become quite popular in Japan. It's called Nama Donatsu. Donatsu is, of course, donuts. Nama means raw. At least it usually means raw. If meat is Nama, it's raw. If fruit is Nama, it's uncooked. But they also say Nama beer for draft beer. I'm pretty sure this is not draft donuts. Nama donuts to me seem pretty much just like cake cooked in donut shape with various toppings. Maybe it's something slightly different. I don't know, but the, the Nama donuts I've had have been basically like that, although very delicious. But what I'm going to show you today, I saw on a Japanese TV show of an interesting way to make a kind of Nama donuts. Ignore the traffic sounds in the background, I've got the window open. It is incredibly simple. First you need to find the thing you're actually making it in. I'm confused. I have a donut pan. I just don't know where I have my donut pan. Darn it. Ah! Found it. There we go. Donut pan. I bought this just to try making the Nama Donuts. And then I've only used it like three times. Twice. Whatever. Right now we're going to be the third or fourth time making Nama Donuts. Of course, make sure your pan is clean. Close enough. So I see it's just a donut shaped cooking pan. You could use it for muffin mix or cake mix or whatever. But what we're doing today requires no baking. Our ingredients are incredibly simple. Ice cream, gummies, and cookies. Sounds weird I know, but it's fantastic. This is Mao or Mo or Mo, Mo in Japanese. Fantastic ice cream. I've left it out so it's already gotten soft and melty. And that's perfect, that's exactly what we want. For our gummies, I stumbled across these mango flavored gummies today and I thought that would be fantastic in this. I was actually looking for mango flavored ice cream and couldn't find any, unfortunately. I thought that would have been perfect. And then to give it the bready, donut-y kind of texture, cookies go in the bottom. These moonlight cookies, I don't know if they're anything special, but they taste really nice, so I thought I'd use them. You could use whatever cookies you want. You could use crushed up Oreos if you want, although it might become a little too sweet, I'm not sure. So our first step is changing the camera angle. First, we're gonna wanna put our ice cream, or ice liquid, into the bowl. Oh, it's actually still more solid than I thought. Next, go in the gummies. If I can get the bag open. Come on. No. There's not much we can do with this yet. Next, we put this mix into the microwave. Ignore how dirty it is. And give it about um, 500 watts, two minutes. Is it a good idea to microwave this? Yes. Yes it is. We are not going to watch that microwave the whole time, that's just boring. I don't know why all the appliances in Japan have to make music, but they do. I think it's law. Okay, so this has become... Well, I don't know. We'll see if that's been enough. If that was enough microwaving, we can now mix this into just a goopy mess. And the gummies are still a little bit too solid. Microwave it a little more. Okay, I gave it another minute and a half, and that looks to be about good. So, three and a half minutes total on the microwaving. Get it all nicely blended. The ice cream and the gummy gloop. Okay, actually that is quite nicely mixed now. Ah, oh, the mango and ice cream smell is wonderful. Okay, now, we're going to want to Take this and put it in here. Well, that looks about just about right. And leaves just enough for me to lick out the bowl. Oh, that is delicious. <laughs> My goodness. If it tastes this good midway through making it, imagine how the final product is going to taste. Mmm. Oh, that is good. Melted gummy. Which in Japan is called gumi. Now we've got to use our cookies. You take the cookies, crush them up, and add the crumbs to the bottom of the donuts. Kind of looks like one cookie per donut should about do it. Of course, make sure your hands are clean before you do this. <laughs> And just take a spoon and make sure those cookies crumbs are nicely evenly distributed through each donut. Push them in a bit. A little bit more cookie maybe. Okay, 
the cookie has to really, it does have to get in there. Kind of overfilled it a little bit. Oh uh, well, yeah, right now it looks like a mess, but believe me, it is delicious. Well, the second to last step is to put just a, a sheet of saran wrap over top of it. It's going to seal everything in. And then put, I'm putting it in the freezer to harden. Usually they're just put into the fridge, but it's hot out now, it's rainy season. I want them nice and hard and cold. I think they'll be that much better as a dessert frozen. I just realized I forgot to mention the final step. The donuts are in a metal pan. They're not gonna come out that easily. After they've completely set and hardened, what you wanna do is set that pan into a bigger pan with hot water for just a very short amount of time to let the pan expand. And then you flip it over onto a clean plate or pan, kinda give it a bang and the donut should fall out. That, or it could've gone the easy way. I forgot I recently bought a, uh, a silicone, well I guess a fancy shaped donut mold, that would have worked out a lot easier. It's flexible so you should be able to just pop the donuts right out. So it should work either way. Oh well, maybe next time. Unfortunately that's going to take a lot of time to finish up so I can't show you the finished product right now. Maybe if I remember tonight. Like I said, I don't know if these are popular in North America right now. They very well could be. Let me know if they are. But I had never seen this way to make a dessert like this before. It's wonderful. Give it a try. It is so easy. I'm not sure how long this took me, 10, 15 minutes, because I was also taking the time to videotape and changing camera angles takes time. So if I hadn't been doing this, it would have gone even quicker. Preparation time, real quick. Solidifying time in the fridge, several hours at least. The freezer, probably a little bit quicker, but maybe longer because I want it to freeze solid. I don't know. Give it a try. Different gummies and different ice creams will get you different flavors. Mix and match. You can just have a lot of fun testing out all the different variations you can do. My family and I are definitely going to enjoy these tonight after supper, which I have to get cooking on. Which I'm not going to bother showing you because I'm just making miso soup, which I've shown you before. And this foil yucky fish thing, which I wouldn't really call Japanese food either. I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know how it turns out if you try, okay? Okay. I have no real way to end this, so I'll just kind of sink out of sight.